Softing. In this video, we are going to explain how to perform a dual ended certification test with Wire Expert. Ensure that the correct referencing method has been completed before performing the test, and the reference cords were not disconnected from the TX port of both local and remote units. Perform set reference again if they are disconnected at any point during the test. Connect the SC end of the launch cord on the local unit to the port of the link under test on the patch panel. Connect the SC end of the tail cord on the local unit to the port of another link under test on the patch panel. Connect the SC end of the tail cord on the remote unit to the other end of the port of the first link. Connect the SC end of the launch cord on the remote unit to the port at the other end of the second link. Check that the headset icon on both units turns red to indicate a connection has been established. Press the auto test button. You will be prompted to proceed to step 2, if by direction is selected in the configuration. Swap position of the SC connector of the launch cord with the SC connector of the tail cord on the patch panel. Swap the position of SC connector of the launch cord with the SC connector of the tail cord at the other end. Press the OK button to proceed. Select 850 nm or 1300 nm to view the detailed test result of each wavelength. Note that a single direction test will only display results showing Fiber 1 transmitting from local TX to remote RX, and Fiber 2 transmitting from remote TX to local RX. And a bi-direction test will display results showing Fiber 1 transmitting from local TX to remote RX, Fiber 2 transmitting from remote TX to local RX, and Fiber 1 transmitting from remote TX to local RX. Fiber 2 transmitting from local TX to remote RX after swapping position. Have a look at the other videos or visit our website to explore the other various features of the Wire Expert. Thanks for watching.